Hello and welcome back to our commentated Laser Force series. In today's video we're going to switch tacks a little bit and take a look at the Dungeons and Dragons game format. To do that we're going to start off with the most basic of classes which is the Warrior and we're we'll going to be looking at a video by our most veteran player Professor Trev. To help me commentate the video I am joined today by Ninja Jack. Yo. Robin Chuan. Hello. Mookie. Yo. Guy Next Door. Hey. And I am of course Dimmy Hawk. Alright without further ado let's dive in and take a look. Hey look, he's first everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty interesting team lineup. Red have gone for uh, two thieves, whereas Green have gone for three warriors. Mm. It's been a massive resurgence actually um, of people playing thieves. Yeah, it, it has seemed to have become quite popular recently. So he's off to a bit of a slower start for the warrior class. I guess as the warrior you're, you're really trying to push as fast as you can because it's sort of critical that you get to two because once once you do get that extra toughness at level two, you do really, that's when you sort of take your advantage and yeah. start destroying, especially like a mage. Mages sort of fear warriors until they get to level four because <laughs> there's really not much you can do about them. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the, um, <clears throat> I guess, the benefit of being a warrior is the toughness, so... Yeah, as you say, the sooner you could level up and get an extra hit point, the better. And with the potion, there's really no reason not to play aggressively. Yeah. You, you've got that second life. If, yeah. you, if you do screw up your first sort of push to get to level two, and it doesn't really happen, you might as well pot and you know basically try again. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's like your early pressure class, your warrior. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And while your cleric's still alive. <laughs> of course. <laughs> It's quite interesting, like as a warrior, like see Trev unfortunately got trapped there because there was about three three red. Yeah. So that was just unfortunate and that's where your potion sometimes comes in quite valuable until you hit like level two or three. If you can't find your cleric, um, you can just lose lives very, very quickly. Yeah. <clears throat> so one thing to note with Trev's gameplay is <clears throat> if you take take a look at his gun when he moves around, he he, uh, he moves his gun quite a bit from that center, like facing forward position. So the problem with doing that is that anytime he goes to shoot somebody, he needs to move his gun back in line with the player he's trying to shoot at. And usually they're coming from in front of you. So by moving your gun around, not having it up, um, it takes that extra split second for somebody to, uh, for you to bring your gun up to shoot them. That usually you come off second best. Um, yeah, I mean the fact that it's not really in frame a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good indication yeah. that he's not holding it up. Yeah, he only seems to really bring up when he is shooting. Yeah. The yeah. Other, the other thing as well is actually not saying um, red underneath or you know in calling the right yeah, yeah. calling up locations. Yeah. Um, Yeah, so yeah. just what you just said there, um, Nate, was he got killed by light, and then as he turned around, one of his own players was a little bit further away, mm. so he could have said, hey, light's over here, yeah. or given some indication, you know. Especially if he's taking one shot off, yeah, and, yeah. He's, and light's on one, light's on one already, then yeah. it's an easy takedown for your other teammate. That's right. <clears throat> so giving them a heads up is yeah. much appreciated by your team. Because by the time... Uh, say another green player comes around, lights back on two hits, where that could have been an easy kill. Mm. And potentially stopping points against the other two. Mm. So calling out, an, especially in our maze, is sometimes very beneficial. Mm. Um, I mean, I think it's the case for, for well, most mazes. Most mazes, yeah. 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 <clears throat> especially some of the bigger mazes like Brisbane. Like Brisbane, you could, you have to communicate with players, are, otherwise you get lost so easily in oh, the maze. Yeah, you won't find much. anyone for yeah. a couple of minutes. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And especially if you're playing a class which, uh, I mean, it's quite, he's playing a warrior, which he gets a potion every other couple of levels, which is good. But if you're playing a class that doesn't 
have that, mm. falling out is very important, or becomes very important. Yeah, but I would be using a bundle spot behind to try to use my potion as a payback just to try to catch up. Yeah. So that was a good call there, and he, and he definitely benefited from you pointing out the fact that Rodak was just about to come around the corner. Exactly. Yeah. I guess, while I mean Space Marines 5 does tend to be sort of more high intensity, more team based combat, it's almost that calling up positions of your opponent team is more important in D&D because there's more free roaming around the maze. Rather than like a... Yeah, Space Marines team 5, team. you know there's a team upstairs and there's a team downstairs, yeah. but with D&D, you, people can be anywhere. They can yeah. be in Green Base, they can be in Disco, they can be in C-Bend. Yeah, it's a free free flowing game. Yeah. Yeah. And the nature with D&D as well is that you do have so many different classes. Like, once a mage gets level uh, 4, you know, he gets way extra toughness. So yeah. calling out and actually communicating with the team um, becomes very beneficial because yeah, if yeah. you smash a mage like with three of your teammates, well then that's going to be awesome. Well, yeah. It helps to like, keep <laughs> them on, you know, on three the, or two hit yeah. points as opposed to four. Or, yeah. 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 I mean, there might not be any of your teammates around at the time, but... Why it, there we oh, go. There we go. <laughs> 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 what awesome. did he say? Less, he's, he's singing. <laughs> Trev, less, less singing, more calling out where people are. Anyway, I just on his on his movement throughout the maze, he is actually moving around quite a lot. Mm. Yeah, unfortunately, he's probably on the other side of where most of the te- other team is. But the actual movement is actually quite. Yeah. You know, it, like he's not just standing in one spot, just waiting just for camping. people to come. Yeah. yeah. Um, like I do. <laughs> he, he, so you have to love him for a while. That little spot there, yeah. Yeah. where you said he obviously yeah, does, he does favour disco at the moment in this yeah. particular game. Like he's, he's floating like, underneath as well, underneath and they... coming back through disco. Well, you look yeah. there, like he lift, he again, he lifts his gun up um, to a point where, like, I'm not really sure that you kind of need to be doing that because nobody is going to be in the roof. Yeah, <laughs> I think it? it's like for if he was to walk into someone, he lifts up the gun. True, or... but like sometimes it's better to take a side step or take a step back or you know, mm. like pivot from your foot rather than yeah. yeah unless you can't do that as well as some other people. Maybe yeah, yeah. maybe. Um, yeah, it's just um, it's almost it's almost like no offense, true, but it's almost like he he's a bit timid and like oh that's my own team and then I bring back the gun maybe like yeah, yeah. you know that sort of oh it's my team and then by the t- by the time he's brought back the gun and brought it down nice. unfortunately that there's was a, really good. Yeah. another team member on the corner you know opposite team member on the corner yeah so, maybe um, so I got it's, it's interesting because really the warrior should be the least timid <laughs> of the four classes yeah well once you get to where is he now oh he's still level one he's t- t- he 55 to... he's nearing level two I yeah. think with that timidness it was more of a I don't want to shoot my own team right perhaps, yeah. 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 Perhaps. but then sometimes you just have to make that sacrifice yeah then people get angry <laughs> <laughs> especially if it's your cleric <laughs> although I've already made it to level two this game so I'm okay <laughs> well, I feel I, f- I just feel myself relax as I get to level two as a cleric it's I seem to think once I get to toe, we're, we're okay and we're set. It's that first notch, like... Yeah. Yeah. It's just getting off the mark. And also sometimes it's knowing your class as well, like, if you come time... If you're down, uh, I mean, he's level one as well, so yeah. knowing your levels... So, just quickly, that there, that's another really good example of he had his gun down, he stepped around the corner, somebody was there, and he had to go from down to up, mm. and he actually overshot the mark, so he lifted mm, his right. gun further than where he needed to and he actually missed the person yeah. I'm pretty sure he missed the person <laughs> and again yeah, it's it's light that he's dueling it out with here and light's definitely giving advantage over him especially with the area he is he's going around so many corners like underground underneath mm. and his gun's down mm. this is even worse for his positioning mm. oh that was unfortunate light steals off Trev and <laughs> light goes up a level off that <laughs> Oh, he's just, yeah, he's lost about 200 points. He's uh, back down to 11.25. Yeah, you got to watch the when you're trying to push for the next level. It's so easy to lose points. Yes. Yeah. Well, once a, once a th- well, we'll talk about Thieves in, in another game, but mm. yeah, that's just unfortunate. But, um, that's good you see, un- unfortunately, mm. Trev's missing all the other team members. Like, he is walking a lot. Like, you can just see him, he's moving around the maze quite well, but... Well, he sort of, he he's, he's, has like a... <clears throat> 
It's always a, I'm gonna go forwards, as opposed to okay, I just shot a guy. Yeah. And now pause for a moment and think about where he's going. Yeah. I can turn around and cut him off and get a, you know yeah. get him again or, or something like that. Yeah. Just, well, see, sorry to interrupt, but that's he just did that then. Yeah. He got shot. He pulled back a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And now he's now he's trying to hunt. Moving forward again. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of guys will um like when you kill someone um and they run past you and mm. keep going a lot of guys will kind of just ignore mm. that and mm. just keep pushing forward so mm. yeah having some some thought about okay I just killed that person where are they potentially moving to now are they going to a place where I can cut them off yep. yes cool I'll yeah. go cut them off Trim does seem to be finding light quite a lot yeah I think, I think light's <laughs> finding Trim more than anything well light's oh. finding everyone he's top scoring for red team so I feel like he was upstairs Oops. for a bit. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, I just shot Trev, which is on my team. Sorry, Trev. That's all right. It happens. But I feel like he was upstairs for a bit too long. Like, I mean, Mookie definitely took him out at the top of green ramp and Trev backed away while he waited for him to come back up. But well, like, if I'd been in that position, as soon as I saw the Mookie had moved from the top of long ramp, I would have just gone straight down red ramp and, yeah. and disappeared. I, uh, I may or may not have been a little biased in my healing this, this game, knowing that Trev was wearing the GoPro. <laughs> I was conscious of making sure he didn't die out. <laughs> You've got to heal everyone. <laughs> hey, look, I'm top scoring for, for a green team, so, you know. True, true. Who, who cares? So selfish. <laughs> it is now 3v5. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, so they're down too. <laughs> oh. Sounded like a brother. Yeah, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. GD Magic Missile's his own cleric. Oh, yeah, that what? was me. That was me. <laughs> It was about two or three times that game as well, and, and I was I like, was the one who yelled out. And you were the one like, getting upset. I had to be like, dude, that's cool. I've, I've got 30 lives. I've just leveled. I how think do, I... How do you level from that? Did I level up yeah. from that? You, well, you get points for using the spell. Oh, okay. Yeah. But still, like, <laughs> what, a, what a move. I think, what I, a move. I think I, like, killed a bunch of my own team this whole game. <laughs> I was so mad about it. It's interesting that you feel guilty about magic missiling your own team, but you'll have, like, fireball all of oh, us. I'll fireball like, everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll go out and start fireballing the public. <laughs> and your points for every, every That's person. Right. right. That was that was good. Getting you. Okay. Huh. Mm. I still go up level. <laughs> mm. So he's up to level two now, which is good. And he, he didn't have to use his potion to get to level two. <clears throat> he just called out where Joe was too, which is mm. good. There we go. Um, I, just, I, just have, I just have a question for you guys. Like, with leveling and stuff like that, does it take your overall points? Say, like, a thief steals, say, 500 points off you. Yeah. Does the system um, recognize that you need to get back up to 500 points and then again? Yes. Like, they, yeah. So it is purely on the points that you. That, that is displayed on the scoreboard, yeah. So yeah. If, if a thief can effectively stop you from stealing. And they, Sorry, from you leveling, leveling by stealing. Yeah. 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 Okay. And you certainly feel that as, as a mage, um, to a lesser extent as a cleric, if you get stolen at level one, you can pretty much write your game off, um, especially if you're getting bounced around a bit too much. Yeah, because I was just looking at Trev now, he did hit level two, but he yeah. did get stolen, he got stolen Stole. points from yeah. um, like. So we'll talk about it in the Thief game, but you basically can't lose less than the level cap required mm. so that cre increases every time you level so you can't be stolen below that level and the one thing we did need to clarify and i don't think we still have an answer for yet is if a thief steals from someone who's at the level cap minimum do does the thief still gain points from that yeah, yeah. i'm pretty sure they do yeah, yeah right so even if they're not actually stealing points they still gain, they gain the points, points from the action of stealing right. oh, okay yeah that came up the other night and we weren't sure about the answer to it Dude, coming up it's good to see he's become a lot more vocal in the second half yeah. of the game I think green team have kind of realised that they're sort of Not hunting red at this team. So. You got you got Trev again. Did I get yeah. Trev again? <laughs> yeah, like, I'm take out. <laughs> Sorry, Trev. <laughs> Why aren't you screaming out disgust? Because <laughs> <laughs> it creates too much editing for green. <laughs> because I shot him, he didn't shoot me. It's <laughs> the difference. Unfortunate. Yeah, but I don't, think he, I don't think he had the gun up either. Mm. Yeah, so even with his two toughness, the magic missiles are just, you know, they'll go through all levels of toughness. Mm. 
this uh, Doom's level 3. Yeah. Oh, that's great off the mirror. Yeah. Got him again. A second missile off the mirror. You know, Maze is notorious for, um, if you guys don't know, blind spot. Um, reflecting off the walls. Shot, sorry. Yeah. yeah. It's Not as bad as it used to be. Uh, yeah. It's, it's still noticeable, this point. Yeah, like. You can reflect <laughs> off a, a sh <coughs> shiny black wall. But the only thing I'd, I'd, I'd do differently is knowing he hasn't used his potion and that we're in the final 60 seconds of the game, just to use that potion as a, a payback a mechanic. Bit, yeah. You know, you, you don't need it for the lives, but you might as well use it. Like you could after, have done it then. Yeah. Just, just then. After Doom had got his missile off on him, it would have been helpful to pop the potion, bring himself back up, and then take a whack back at Doom. Yeah, exactly. Because Doom's not going to have enough time to recast. <laughs> shooting, <laughs> shooting the face there. Yeah. yeah. Got Mucky right in the eye. What was that? Finger. <laughs> yeah. So, all around a good game. I mean, getting to level two is, you know, a pretty decent effort. But yeah. yeah. So, yeah. thanks everyone for joining me. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more. And we'll see you all next time. Bye. See you.